guys welcome to my channel and welcome to another video so today we're going to talk about Liv's life she is not somebody that I talk about often but her life is taking a very interesting turn um I think the last time we spoke we spoke in reference to her losing custody of her uh, first three children to the father she then has another baby by what is said to be a uh, Zolo Vans. Um, the interesting thing was she really has not shown the baby. She rarely talked about the baby. She was very private about the pregnancy. And then here we are again. She has moved back to Florida from Texas. And she's pregnant again, she announced. And when I tell you that is all she talks about, she's showing us the ultrasound she's crying she's now she does mention aj but she doesn't really talk about him she doesn't really show him she doesn't really feature him on her channel being uh that she pays so much attention to the other kids it just seems quite odd um she says she's with the child's father who does live in florida allegedly and, I mean, she can't get enough of discussing this pregnancy, which is very interesting, being that she did not discuss the pregnancy with AJ much. Now, um, she says that he's very happy. She even went so far as to let her, list, let us listen to a conversation she had with him. So, I mean, I don't know what all of this means, but, you know... This is what she's got going on, guys. Now, like I said in the uh, subject of this video, she put up a video the other day stating that the baby didn't have a heartbeat. Now, this takes me back to the Jacksons of Atlanta saying that they lost their baby. I don't know why people think that it's cute to clickbait titles in this manner. I mean, it's you know, speaking horrible negativity. Um, and it is very insensitive being that that is a traumatic situation that you are speaking about. And then you're sitting here showing us the ultrasound picture like, you know, you are so happy. Why say that? Why say that you lost your baby? Why can't you say something like, oh, this is the happiest experience I've had, blah, blah, blah. I mean, Clickbait is really supposed to not be uh, accepted here on YouTube. But of course, in order for them to get in trouble, somebody would have to report it. Several people probably, in fact. But I just don't understand why she chose to make this title. Especially where she is in her pregnancy. Um, but I don't know, guys. What do y'all think about this? What do you think about people using these type of titles to talk about their pregnancies? Tell me what you think in the comments about uh, these type of behaviors. Um, and what do you think about the fact of her being so different now in this uh, initial part of this pregnancy compared to her last? Um, she also has not... Uh, to date shown her son who is over a year old um and all we know is baby aj and i'm sure that isn't his entire name um tell me what you think about it um and we will continue to watch and see how this unfolds she says her and the baby's father are very happy that they're in a relationship i don't know if this is someone that she dealt with before or how all of that is but whatever the case is um these are the allegations that she's making and she seems to be very happy i mean i don't know why having kids seems to be the new flex or trend like it's a new purse or something but uh, i mean there are countless youtube families with uh upwards of three children um I don't know, it just, especially those who really can't afford it, I don't understand why they are making things more difficult for themselves. But tell me what you think. We'll definitely talk about this below, and we will keep a watch on this channel. Be sure you guys are subscribed so you won't miss a thing 
when I upload. And guys, we will definitely talk about it below. And I'll see you in the next video. Now, be sure you hit a like on your way out if you have not already done so for this video. If you like this type of content. Bye. Thank you.